In the previous video, we learned about the balance report. In this video, we will learn about the daily report in the Employee Leave Manager Excel template. The daily report is one of the simplest ones. All you have to do is to type in a specific date and you'll see the employee leave entries for that date. So by default, for example, when it says January 1st, 2019, you can see that it's a Tuesday. You can also see that it is a holiday. And if it is a weekend, it will get displayed here. And you can see the different leave type summary. And since it's a holiday, everything is zero. And then you can see the number of employees who are totally in the template 69, not employed at the time on January 1st is two, which means there are 67 employees who are employed at the time. And the leave entries, there are no leave entries, so it'll say zero. But let me choose another date and type in July 3rd and see if there are more entries. So now you see that there are four leave entries, so which is listed here as four, and you can see the specific four. And if you have more than 20 leave entries for a single day, then you can use the page number to go to the next 20 by typing in number two. But hence, since we only have four here, we don't need to do that. But to point out here that there are maximum 20 leave entries will be shown at a time, but you can then change it uh, by the page numbers. Now for July 3rd, there are two total um, leave days taken by the employees one paid leave taken and so you can see the leave values here one 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 so totally three and the fourth leave entry is a training leave and it doesn't have any value because we are not tracking it, it doesn't have any leave value um, because we are using it just to know that this person is going to be on training but it doesn't count against their leave balance because they're still working for the company um, but it's important to see it here so that you know that this employee is out on training and will not be in office or will not be available to do the regular work. So this report will show all the leave entries that we have entered in the leave sheet for that specific date. And if I enter, for example, July 5th, um, that would be a Friday. So let me enter July 7th, it'll show the weekend so it'll show that as a weekend now i want to again show one more option here let's go back to july 3rd and we saw these um last column here which is also something that the user as you can control which is if you don't want to see the um, notes column you can change it to one of your custom columns so i've created a custom column here in the leave sheet I have renamed the custom column to be contact information and I can type in the phone number if somebody is going to be on vacation and if you really need to contact that person, then you can put in the phone number and I'm using this that way, but you can use this column however you prefer to use. And in the daily report now, I can say, show me this contact column or show me any of the other um, columns that you need from the leave entries um, table. So now this is how I can customize my thing and you can definitely print or export it by just going to print and you'll see this nicely ready to print sheet and you can also export it by going to export and create PDF. So this is how you can use the daily report. It's very simple, but it's quite effective to know which employees are taking leave for a specific date. The last tip I would give here is if you um, want this to be automatically always showing today, then all you have to do is to equals today. And now it'll actually show today's date. So today is 16th August, early morning. So it shows 16th August. But if you um, if I come in tomorrow and open this file, now it will show 17th August. So by this way, it will automatically show me the current day's leave entry. So I don't have to change, keep changing the dates. But if you want to look at any future dated ones, you can definitely type in and say, okay, who's going to be out on August 30th? then there are no leave entries for August 30th. So this is how you can use the daily report. If you have any questions about the topics that we covered here, please post them in the comments below and I'll see you in the next video where I will be discussing about the employee report. Thank you very much for watching.